Hi, I'm Dylan Wilkes, the CTO of Orange Photonics. And I'm going to talk a little bit today about the different techniques used for uh, cannabis potency analysis. Uh, there's really kind of four techniques I'm going to go over. Uh, gas chromatography, uh, HPLC, uh, near-infrared, and uh, light lab selective separation spectroscopy. So to start with, uh, let's get ahead with, uh, with gas chromatography, or GC. Uh, the basic process of GC involves extracting a sample into a solvent, uh, and then that solvent is injected and heated into a, into a gas which is carried around a long tube called a column. That column uh, separates all the different cannabinoids, so out the bottom uh, of the column, you, the cannabinoids are detected. Uh, this technique is really common, which is, a, which is a great thing, and it's relatively low cost. Uh, the disadvantage of it really is the fact that it can't measure any uh, acidic cannabinoids, uh, such as THCA or CBDA, and because of this, it's kind of fallen out of fashion in recent years. Uh, so the next type, type of technology is called HPLC, uh, or uh, High Performance Liquid Chromatography. And this is really what most labs actually use today for doing uh, cannabinoid potency analysis. Uh, it's actually very similar to how the light lab works as well. The basic process is similar in sample preparation to GC, where you extract a sample into a, a solvent, and uh, once that's done, it's injected. However, the difference is everything is done in a liquid form, so there's no heating, and thus you can get the acidic forms of the cannabinoids. The advantage of, of HPLC is that it's really accurate, it's widely used, and uh, it can measure all the like, different cannabinoids uh, that, are, that are present. Uh, the disadvantage really with HPLC is the fact that it's a com complex instrument, so uh, it requires someone who's trained and, and knowledgeable in the uh, operation of it, uh, and it's also very expensive. The third type of technology uh, that I want to discuss is uh, near-infrared, or NIR. Uh, this is more commonly used as a portable technique, uh, and it involves shining infrared light onto a sample uh, and reflecting and catching the reflected light, and the, by doing so, they can measure some of the chemical properties of the sample. Uh, this has some uh, advantages in the fact that it's uh, very quick. Uh, the analysis doesn't require any sample preparation and can be done very quickly. However, it's uh, significantly less accurate than most of the other analytical techniques. And this is because of a, a couple reasons. First of all, the, the fact that there's no sample preparation means that you're just measuring what the, the device sees that, that's shiny against it, so you don't get a full uh, analysis of the entire sample, which, is, which can be uh, significantly different when you consider the inside versus the outside. The other problem with it is uh, that it uses what's called a library to do the analysis. So uh, several previously run samples are analyzed on the device and a library is created, which means if your sample is very different than the library, uh, you can get incorrect results. The final type of analysis that I want to discuss is uh, what we use in-house uh, at Orange Photonics, which is called selective separation spectroscopy. This is very similar to HPLC in that we use uh, liquid chromatography, uh, but we also combine it with uh, UV spectroscopy. And we operate things at lower pressures than you'd normally see in HPLC uh, and a much more simplified interface. And to make up for that difference, we uh, use uh, sophisticated linear regression algorithms uh, along with both the information from the chromatography and the spectroscopy in order to get accurate results. The advantage of this uh, technique is that it approaches the accuracy of an HPLC while still allowing a portable device. And uh, this means it's a low cost device that somebody that uh, is untrained can use. Uh, and those are really the, the four major techniques that are available right now. So if you want to learn more, feel free to get in touch with us or visit our website at orangephotonics.com. Thank you very much.